What's up guys, it's Mr. Jamvin and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server and um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> road to top 10 coming this week guys, um, yeah, it's been good times, but we are, uh, Joey and I uh, did a video, I, I put out a video um, of me guiding, I need to edit that video to make sure that you guys can go to the part that you want you know how youtube has that thing where you can skip to where you want like the bits of information that you care about so i'm gonna edit that um to do so but yeah um that's coming but if you guys want like premium premium i'm talking stuff i've never shared in public level of breakdown information definitely go and check that video out um where the goal man another aerodactyl that's crazy where my goal is to um I remember from the joey vid that we're super weak to calyrex so i want to be careful of that but yeah um no no it's missing aerodactyl probably rock sash yeah let's shut that down but um yeah we're not we're not playing i should reflect here to flex on him knowing that he's either gonna switch or rock to him but i won't do it yep so i said i should have done but hey, no balls what can i say uh hmm. which lets me know he's competent which is good which is good uh, weakness policy, rocks, da, da, da. Stone Age, we're staring down. Hmm. I guess I'd have to win the speed tie. So, Sun Steel Strikes as expected. Um, maybe not. Taunt, where's our next turn? I go to Arrow Rocks. So basically, guys, what I'm trying to do is light screen. Could geo sweep too, but I just need certain things in place for that to work, and one of those things is rocks. Um, so I'm not gonna let this go yet, because I know if ED is here, I outspeed after that, and I can taunt him or reflect up. I have quite a few threats for him, so I'm not overly concerned. Uh, you could go to arrow hard and then just say okay screw it we're gonna play speed tie um so the big balls play would be to go for rock to him here but um really that doesn't even do it i need rocks up particularly if it's sash um okay trick room interesting that's not what i expected um but that's fine with reflect up yeah actually with policy those aren't these are not the problems you wanted uh, especially because now I probably outspeed your veil if you choose to go to it. Um, so it goes arrow, which is fine. You give me arrow. So no rocks for him. Um, Dracovish. Dracovish under screens. Um, so this is actually perfect. Unless. There are a couple of things here, like, because one, he's going to get a return or a flex, so that's a little annoying. Um, but I'm keeping the light screen in my back pocket uh, for the Caloric Shadow. The reason I'm thinking here is like, well, you know, Reflect is gone, obviously. I get to go for one move. I don't think he'd ever go directly into Necrozma. And what I don't want him to do is go directly into um, Eternatus, because that's a little harder for me to deal with as a whole. Um... But you're like, why would he go Eternatus? It's, it's a weird place because if he goes hard Necrozma and I bolt strike twice, that's really good for me. It's a really horrible play to go Necrozma hard here. Um, but if he gets it in, it's really bad for me. I'm actually going to assume that. Let me think. If DD, Dragon Dance, if he go Necrozma. I'll Dragon Dance here. He does go Necrozma hard. As I said, horrible play if I bolt striked hard there. 
but I figure, okay, well, I'm going to get, if I connect here, 80%. Um, and he might not have any defense, so it might have a shot at killing him. Um, bolt strike. In VGC, my bolt strikes always hit. You know, I'm not going to say what I was about to say. But more importantly, him going into this gives me the potential to geomancy him. Okay, so it does one shot. I did not expect it to. Holy crap. Holy bejesus. I'm pretty sure I live a scarf. There's no way I'm dying to scarf anything. So, um, Dragon Claw is excellent here. Um, yeah, does a lot, but okay, excellent. So the biggest threat to my team is now gone. Just allows for me to um, light screen Geomancy and this game's over. Or Calyrex, Calyrex, light screen Calyrex, whichever one I want to do. Um, he actually goes Dracovish first. Still light screen. Light screen goes Xerneas. Moonblast. And then Geo Sweep. I don't need Reflect. I don't think Reflect is only protecting me from a Veltal. Because I could also uh, light screen, then. I mean, Reflect Xerneas. Outspeed and Geo, because I'm gonna Fisher's range is gonna be weakened um, because I went first. I just don't know how much that's gonna do, and if it does enough to wear Sludge Bonk, uh, that's super unlikely though. But I think Light Screen here is my best play every time because um, value-wise, I'm holding a position that you cannot defend against, which is Xerneas. So he's like, okay, why'd you light screen? Well, now if that Eternatus has Sludge Bomb, he has to deal with Geomancy and Sludge Bomb. So he can't switch at the risk of me Geomancy. And so now what do you do? You have to go uh, Eternatus. Um, still not over necessarily, but it'd be pretty like, oh, cause what I'm thinking is, you know, it could be a toxic variant, but um, I think the way Aerodactyl was handled there, and I'm a lot more clear-headed oh, today as opposed to my previous Uber lives. So uh, my game planning should be pretty tight. Uh, have fun, my guy. But yeah, definitely go check out that video. And as I said, I understand it's a bit, you know, unless you really want to see the entire process. You know, some people just want to learn, like, what are the three pillars fully explained or what are... You know me really diving into and breaking down value um, and I've opened up the boot camp so where you can join at any point I used to do it just in the beginning of the month but um, it's just four weeks so it's really whatever four weeks and we work around your schedule so if a concern I know a lot of people's concern is like they won't have the time and blah 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 you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one, meaning just like a one-time or you can we can work around your schedule because um, the goal is to make you better but it's been it's been a blast man um, a lot of passionate people and I like working with passionate people because they actually put in effort um, nothing irks me more than a person who just oh damn bro if it wasn't for blank and I haven't gotten any of those so uh, much love to the society but yeah we're gonna uh, attempt to Calyrex him another Calyrex shadow Another Veltal. I mean, you can't expect those two not to be on every team. I think the easiest mod to sweep with would be maybe Zek. Problem is Calyrex, you know, Scarf Calyrex. But um, I'm going to play this a little differently. I'm going to early game Xerneas to rattle him up a lot. Oh, maybe not. Or Necrozma. Uh, light screen plus Necrozma. I don't know. There's no clear path for this one. Um, but I do think he's gonna necrozma early. But if he tangrows, I can't have him leading tangrowth. I figured he'd necrozma, but I'll just outplay him here because I know he's going to. The sequence is gonna go. This is how these next three turns are gonna play out. He's gonna sunsteel strike. I'll taunt, then he'll sunsteel strike again. Sunsteel strike. Tries to stealth rock side, stop him. Oh wow, I was I was absolutely wrong. I was absolutely wrong about that. I'm a fool. 
Mm, it's an interesting turn because Zek, this should be a Fizda variant, so Zek, but if I go Zek and, because I have Draco Meteor, um, I didn't want to go to this because he could go hard tangles and sleep powder me. Um, and so part of me wants to double switch, but he might not know I'm weakness policy and earthquake me or knock off. He goes hard. Oh, I'll take that. Please hit. I should switch, but now it's not as easy to um, come combat my uh, what's his points? Okay, so it leaves it an excellent. Um, it's not as easy to combat my uh, my Sunseal Strike had he gone directly to Tangros, taking rocks and Stone Edge. Sunseal Strike would have hurt. So what I'm gonna do is actually DD again instead of um, Sunseal Strike because I'm pretty sure he's Rocky Helmet. Um, I'll take the Helmet damage and all that. But if I DD again, he switches and then it's what to Calyrex. Mm. Actually, it's better to Sun Steel Strike because of I'll take the Rocky and go to sleep. Oh, he's a seeds. Okay, if you're only seeds, then that's a big miss. It's a huge miss. That's a game losing miss because I wanted the damage so that Zekrom can um, destroy him. Uh, so we Dragon Dance again here. If he weakness policy activates, yeah, I figured as much. And we're trying to get faster than Calyrex, which we are now. As he's trying not to activate my 700 speed, yeah. Now Earthquake is, he doesn't get the Sun Steel Strike. He's trying to get me into Earthquake range. And he probably only has, no, he has to have, he knows I have weakness policy, that's why. Oh, but he's not even, yeah, like that's not going, whew, he was banded. How did that do 83 to me? Remember, Superman's a base 70 move. Yeah, he must have been banded if Elta. That means that he, if, he, if he sun steals strike there, he actually had me. Yeah. So he made a misplay there, but, you know, losing is good. You win, you learn. So, good game. But, um... Nah, like, um, super, super, not, you know, done apologizing for the inconsistency. This happens every year. Um, sorry. But when it happens, when I'm back, I'm back. I can tell whenever I'm like, okay, it's because I'm not feeling mine. But when it's, or it's when it's genuinely like, it's just not the right time right now. I don't want to force an upload out. But with road coming back and all the things that I plan to share, a lot of value coming your way. So um, thank you for all the people who came from Joel, my guy. Uh, hmm, this is a more interesting one, primarily because he has that cloister. Um, but he also has Galvantula with cloister. So if he leads cloister and it's Sash Mash, obviously, I'm forced to taunt, but then if he goes for the thing right away, then I'm screwed. So, um, Cloyster actually forces me to lead with Grim Snarl here. Um, this is interesting because I have to hit him with the outplay. Uh, the taunt is pretty obvious. I don't think he can two it KO me. I'm spadef, so I don't think there's ever a reason not to taunt. But what I'm thinking about is if I don't and I light screen first and I manage to get away, meaning like I'd light screen then taunt, then I know that I would be able to break his sash, which is really important because if I just screens up, he'll switch. Because look, taunt, he's going to thunder me here. Oh, he actually went crazy. Craziness. So I actually get to get away here, <clears throat> which I didn't expect. Um... Nah, I don't want that thunder damage. I've shown, like, so this is where, you know, Aerodax comes in rocks. You should just Sunsteel Strike. But I'm faster. Oh, that's not good. Well, actually, that's not bad. Because I can just taunt here. Um, and I have Sash. He actually tried the DD again, which he should. Hmm, rocks taunt. My issue here is who kills him after this. 
Well, I guess I can once he once Grok's up in a shell smash. I mean, shell smash a geomancy. This game's over, particularly with screens up. So this game's probably already over because he's gonna uh, sun seal strike. Then I'll rock to him. So since I can't taunt you, I'll just reduce your speed. That way, my necrozma can come in and just batter you because I have weakness policy. Though you have the plus one, so I won't even say I got him. Per se. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's orb. Hmm. I got no other choice but to rock to him here. Him being orb is actually better for me. Because uh, he took a lot of health. He lost a lot of health. Uh, yeah, I still think my neck is better. At the very least, I too it care. I think if, if body, even if he kills me before I kill him, he's, he's gonna die with me that turn. Um, I'm not max speed. Uh, if Eltal switch would be wank, wank. The fuck did I just say? It would be whack, but. Um, with light screen up, a dragon dance plus a yeah. What it does that much? It does ninety seven. Am I? Am I just so used to this thing being? Oh, I forgot. I have another team. I'll use that one next. Uh, it's gonna ice shard here, which is fine. I'm surprised he hasn't. Um, or maybe he doesn't. Oh, he's just faster than me. Shit. That's a really good rapid spin. I did not see that coming. That's a really good rapid spin. Shit. That's a really good rapid spin. Primarily because the damn Galvantula is sash and it has Thunder Wave. Which means my Geo, my Zern can't Geo. Oh, that's a really, really good rapid shit. That's bad. Because the rocks, with the rocks up by one. I was just waiting to. So now I have to make a really mm, big brain play. Because if this shit smashes, I'm gonna lose a lot of value. I could go Xerneas. Mm -mm. Fine. You got me. Uh, at the very least, I won't faint here. Uh, it's because he should just go for Icicle Spear. And what I'll do is just coax him to kill this and then go to my Zekrom. Problem is, I don't think I'll have Light Screen up, which I need for Calyrex, so I might still lose. Yeah, that Rapid Spin, I had thought I had him in the bag there. That was a... I don't know why it didn't cross my mind that... Also, the fact that it killed me was a big deck. I'm very surprised that knocked me out. Um, but Earthquake did so much to me. It did 97% with my ability. You got to realize, guys, Necrozma's ability. Am I minus the... Why, is, why are these attacks doing so much? Like, like, that's 290 defense with an ability that weakens super effective hits. So that Earthquake was effectively a base... A 75 move right so oh man very good I love I love the the quality of opponents I'm facing now yeah he tried so that means I get to get up to which is good excellent Hmm. He probably doesn't have Rock Blast. What would they carry? Is that, it's probably a hazard. Rapid Spin? Or Explosion or something? Now that I think about it, he probably doesn't have Rock Blast. Like, why would you... Mm. I think Rock Blast is that great. If I screens again... Or do I hard switch into? To Calyrex. I'll outplay. Because <clears throat> what I'm thinking here is that. 
you even if you shell smash you shouldn't be able to twit kill my calyrex unless unless you're because you'd fear like okay he's just gonna taunt again here because if i taunt and you try to shell smash again and then, and then i switch you're screwed um but the way i'm playing you'd assume okay i don't give a damn about my grim snarl and i know that well actually he might kill me with three six no he can't even kill me it might be better too but if he's doing so little to my grim snarl unless he has rock blast which again it ubers ice is just too good and you'd probably want to like have a hazard but if he does have a hazard that's really bad and he gets that hazard off i'm a ton again the hazard whatever hazard he has is too big of an issue um yeah isaac was spirits which i figured um but even then you know he'd have just gotten the free switch into okay zation this is actually perfect positioning um because they shan't just activate sweetness policy and i might force his galvantula to i might force his galvantula to you don't want trick room so if i'm trick room that's not what you want which means you would what if i have agility here and he is not Oh man, he went Galvantula, which is kind of what we want, because then now Xerneas has a shot and he can't go for, um, oh, he can go for Sticky Web, but plus one is all I need, like all the sashes, the relevant sashes, well, no, I need more than plus one for his, <clears throat> his Zacian, but I think they're adamant, nah, it does matter, I don't think I could have stopped gal from coming in though because you thunder wave here then you sticky web okay fine i'll just take another ko from you because i'll be almost impossible for you to kill if you don't take any if you don't you don't have any damage like yo that rapid spin was such an important play what oh my man was sweating i think he i don't think he was like over or anything like that because of the reflex. So like I technically, you know, after this KOs, I'd KO another Mon, cause he'd go for Sticky Web and Thunder Wave, which would do no damage to me. And behind screen, somebody else is dying. So I'd probably try to go to a Veltal <clears throat> and try to flinch me or something between the, but if he doesn't get that, it's another Mon down and my screens are still up. He'd probably go Calyrex after that, which is okay. That sucks. You know, I die but the screens are still up Xerneas comes in manages to geomancy um, with screens up plus the plus special attack from geomancy um, he'd either have to give me I guess he could have sat closer from there it would have been interesting because I don't know I don't know it would have been interesting i think he had the slight edge because of the rapid spin so let's go the whole one but yeah <clears throat> okay i think i just played this team i don't know if it was the same guy so it's probably a sample team or something but um hmm sorry i'm just looking at my sets um Dracovish hmm, problematic but manageable. Uh Vel it's important to check one key member. Marshadow is unguardable. Okay. And I can't do anything about arrow. Well I, I can stop him from No, nah, I can't do anything about arrow. He's gonna get his rocks up. Just whatever, because I could start off with Necrozma, Sunsteel Strike. Um, but he just still gets rocks up and then goes to what I'm expecting to be Veltal. Or I, I guess I could get him to waste his rocks, but he'd probably go to Dracovish right after that. So what I'll do here is Marsh. I'm going to rock to him initially. 
Excuse me, that way he doesn't switch the turn I go for Shadow Sneak. And then I'll close combat the turn after that. Um, because Poltergeist can miss. Uh, CC is really the play here. CC is really the play here, but... Mm, I'm willing to risk the rock, so I miss. Primarily because after the fact, it's what, 5%? After the fact, Eric really can't harm me. It's not an offensive threat to me. And so it kind of has to stay in any way. At that point, I'm willing to CC. Um... But I think if I CC first, he knows I have to Shadow Sneak next turn. And he might go to his Veltal. And then depending on what Veltal it is, because I think it was Life Orb. Or this was this abandoned one. But depending on what the Veltal is, um, it just puts me in a slightly more awkward position than and gives him the Death Fodder of the Aerodactyl. So <clears throat> I want to apply as much pressure as possible on the early game. Right, and so now we close combat. See, no chances of him switching out there. So now we're gonna be staring down likely um, Evelta or mm -hmm, or our Eternatus now. Um, our Eternatus, our Evelta answer. He suckered. Just I find interesting. Um, in this situation, most of them would go for Toxic. Uh, you don't want Eveltal Toxic, but if, either way, I'm going to Dynamax Cannon here. Um, yeah, because it just guarantees me some value out of the turn. I believe this was the Trick Rumor. If that's the case, then I'm assuming it's Swords Dance. I don't remember what... So we're going to Swords Dance. I've never seen Swords and Stone Edge. I'm pretty sure this was the one with the Trick Room because he has a Draco Vish on it. So, it's a free burn here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he tries to Trick Room. Wow, that's whack. No, he doesn't try to Trick Room. He's just slower than me. That's fine. I kill him here. That, that did a lot of damage to me. Luckily, I have some defense EVs, but, uh oh. Um, beyond the, well, actually, no, it loses to Eternatus. But, you know, that, that little Thunder Wave actually goes to it directly. I know some of these run that young Meteor Beam, which would be an issue. Actually, would just destroy me. So I actually can't even go hard to Necrozma. Yeah, yeah I think Ho is done. No, no. Well, I have two Thunder Wavers, so yes. Yes, if it is Meteor Beam. Um, it's okay, yeah. Because I'd have to, Necrozma would have to take the Meteor Beam. And I'd have to end up sacking the hole anyway. And so my, my solution here is to hope that I don't. Hope that I connect here, um, which will slow this thing down. Ooh, that's a new wave. That's that Marsh Shadow, not Marsh Shadow, that uh, this thing wave. I'm rocking with it. Um, I no longer need this since he's not even doing half. Thankfully, I'm like that random Spadef set, so he's not even doing damage. That's clutch. Usually, they're defensive. <clears throat> Forgot that um, I was with that Max Spadef set. This is what they used to run back in the day. Um, back in the day, meaning last generation. <laughs> when Xerneas was truly a demon. Uh, well, nobody uses Z move Xerneas anyway. Because you need that white herb. It's always its most dangerous set. But, um, yeah, it must be like crushing to just see all that work you put in go to not. So I'm going to Morning Sun until he gets fully paralyzed. Um, well, I can Sun Seal Strike here uh, to get two in. Yeah, good meteor beam there, but it's ahead of the game. It's ahead of the game. It's not gonna do damage. I actually did damage, but Eternatus checked, and now we have to deal with this monstrosity. I could keep this, but you know, when it's there's a Calyrex and a Velta left, it's doing nothing more than boosting my opponent's stats, and we don't want that. And so the game should be over now. 
because for him to get any real value, you'd have to go to his Veltal, which I'm pretty sure is Life Orb, and that's just gonna be an easy two-way KO. It should take rocks, yeah. It's just an easy two-way KO here. Mm -hmm. And Calyrex can never muscle past my Veltal ever in life. And if it does, then um, I could technically kill him here, but um, he actually knocked me out with Rind. But yeah, Mars Shadow just wraps it up here with a close combat plus Shadow Sneak. You should forfeit here. But um, good game, good game. Flamey Um But yeah, that's where we're going to end it today. Actually, let's grab one more with that one. Let's grab one last one with that one. <clears throat> Alright, so actually we're playing FC. It's a quality opponent. So... I'm in for a fun game. Um, I'm assuming either Calyrex or the Lunala are intended to couple up or double up to remove my Veltal. So the aim is going to be to overwhelm me, which is why I'm going to faint him with my Ho-Oh um, and keep a Veltal in the back. Um, and then uh, <clears throat> could be a pretty smooth Marshadow game. Um, my Calyrex Ice overwhelming his Necrozma is going to be the death of him. I'm pretty, pretty sure he's aware of that. Um, and so, um, uh, I'm not going to try to agility with Calyrex, but I'm going to position it for success. Uh, you turn it, uh, oh, oh. Curious as to what the Groudon is, because that's my biggest threat. And so I'm going to Calyrex because I know... Um, value wise just amazing here unless he wants to give me the Eternatus which I doubt but because of the speed tier on this if it's a defensive Necrozma yeah Lunala makes sense so I'm assuming a trick or something of that nature is coming out okay so it's Roost meaning it has something to touch my Veltal um, that's fine mm, a burnt Eternatus does that matter no let me think, if Groudon comes in here and I Thunder Wave, that's really bad. Groudon, so Lunala is his countermeasure to me, huh? Okay. Which means he probably can't knock me out though. Hmm. Who do you do boots? Rain Sky, Sacred Fire. Scroudon concerns me. Eternatus slash Scroudon. Okay. I'm going to pivot to my Eternatus here. Um, partly to, to see what his initial switch is. Uh, interesting. I didn't expect a, uh, a Veltal to be his. But even if he pivots here. So, okay. So he's committing to... Um, item, item removal, okay, fair enough. There's a Groudon that I was fearing. So he's conscious of the fact that the Groudon is an issue to me. Um, I don't think he can risk me. I don't know what these Groudons run. Um, and so... Like life orb or lum. Basically, what I want to do is go hard to my Veltal. That's kind of telegraphed. Um, hmm. I don't think he'd ever set up. Uh, if I go to Veltal, he's like life orb stonage. Is that what they're running? Life orb stonage. I outspeed, which he's probably not expecting. So even if he stone edges, yeah, I figured as much. Dead. Oh, wow. Wow, he lived. Did not expect him to live. That's not good. Does mean I get a free poltergeist. But yeah, that's not good that he lived. 56%. This is why I wanted the, um, the thunder wave on this shit. I mean, I have the Mars Shadow, so it's not like life or death. Life or death. Um, 
Oh, so he's actually faster than me. These are some cool spreads. But I'm, I expect nothing less. He's a very competent player. Um, let me think. Rock Tomb into Pulch. Okay. Marshad is a huge issue for him. Huge, huge issue. So this is Sash. Okay. So Sash would bring that to the. Nah, it's a waste of a turn. So he's not Sash. This might be Rocky Helmet then, or he has Toxic on this. But Ho is a huge issue now because uh, Ho is a huge issue now because honestly, he should knock. No, it doesn't. Uh, should hard switch the Necrozma here. Let's see what his item is. He shouldn't get recovery. <clears throat> so crit there sucks. Disagree with him leaving the Veltal in, even if the crit he's max for death. So I know like Ho. Uh, um, He's confident he can take a cannon from here. Well, I mean, he took the damn foul play. So, you know, I wouldn't put it past him. Uh, he's confident he can take it. If he doesn't, Groudon being gone means that he cannot be ho. Uh -oh. Okay, so he can't take it. Never mind. I was like, a stab Dynamax cannon from 42? Are the Groudons that crazy these days? But no. So me not knowing the Calx is obviously a big impediment. Um, I'm guessing he was just, again, Rocky Helmet and he was bluffing. Uh, my hole is a huge, huge issue for him. So it would make sense for him to try to trick me here or something like that uh, if he has it. But even if he tricks me, um, it's still not the end of the world. Yeah. Um, sucks, but sun boosted. Ho oh, is just such a big problem. And now he's just Marsh out of fodder. And so, flamethrower, I mean, sacred fire in the sun. If I get the burn, it's over. Nah, that's really frustrating. Give me the burn. There we go. Okay, so, you know, obviously I have to keep my um, thing tucked, but now I just agility twice. Oh, no, that's not true. I think you double switch here, but um, Thunder Wave to... Let's see what Lunala does. I'm not sure what Lunala does, like, like as a Pokemon. Um, I'm actually going to keep my Necrozma at full roar, huh? So that means if my Marshadow comes in, he's screwed. So we're going to um, Eternatus again here. Will-O-Wisps. Okay. Will-O-Wisps roar. With Ghost Staff. So I'm guessing it's Hex. Um, so obviously here he doesn't want to get toxic. But Hex will knock me out. And if he goes to Necrozma, yeah. That's it. Excellent. So Marshad, I guess, to come in. Mm. I want to say sneak kills, but I don't think I'd ever sneak here anyway. I think I need to straight up Poltergeist. Um, and so now his best bet is the Calyrex in the late game, which certainly could do it. Could do it for show. Um, but... Um, if he doubles the Calyrex here, it'll be fine because I have Thunder Wave and I'm Max Spadef. So, um, we haven't seen an item which implies to me that it's Rocky Helmet. Uh, what's good, bud? Shoutouts to Jay. Um, we got some beasts in the academy. So, let's PP stall. Oh, he has Earthquake, okay. Um, what I could do is have him, uh, I'll have him knock out my, uh, Eternatus. He actually goes hard Calyrex, surprises me because he knows I'm that, I'm out mystical fire. Um, very, very interesting decision to go hard Calyrex. I think that seals the deal. 
I go hard ho uh oh Yeah. There's no drawback. You get two KO'd or you let the your wind con die. Guess he banks off the miss. Makes sense. That's game. Alright, so that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Um, quality games, quality games. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button down below. Um, and I appreciate y'all through this inconsistent two months it's been um, really, really sticking through. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's not gonna last forever. Uh, and I won't speak, I'll just do. But yeah, check out that video, guys. If you are a beginner or you're not even a beginner, there's so much information that I release for free. It's like training with me for free. And it is just, please, really, really, really dope video. But yeah, peace.